Alrighty, guys. So welcome. Uh, this is Christian here, your uh, moderator for the day uh, for our special guest, uh, Heather, who's going to be going into some awesome tools here with our advanced email editor in KV Core, talking specifically about the video portion about it and how you can insert videos into some of your emails. So uh, I'm excited to kind of go over that. Now, if anyone does have any questions, uh, please be aware that we can allow you to chat those in or use the Q&A tool. Also, you can raise your hand if you wanna maybe speak your question. Uh, we can allow you to uh, unmute yourself there if you do raise your hand. With that being said, Heather, I'm gonna pass it over to you and go ahead and take charge. Cool, thank you. So hey everybody, uh, like I said, I'm Heather and I was gonna show you guys how to make some templates that you can reuse um, to send videos out to um, the people in your database. And I'm just gonna start out with an example right here. Um, this is one that uh, one of our users, David did. This, what he's using right here is core video. If you don't want to use core video, you can use a YouTube video as well. However, the reason I love core video so much is as you can see, he's moving. And um, when you open up your email and if you see something moving like this, you just get a much higher click through rate than if it's just a YouTube video will just be a stagnant picture with a play button. So you can definitely use that. That's the free way to go. But if you do um, opt to do core video in our marketplace, um, this is what you will get instead. And so um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to make this template and how to drop in the videos. So I'm gonna head over to KB Core. And I'm going to go to marketing and smart campaigns. And we're going to make a template. I'm going to add an email template. Um, and so if you're not familiar, the, um, this will give you a regular email. But if you click into our advanced editor, you can go and do a more of a drag and drop um, situation, which makes what I call pretty emails instead of just plain emails. Um, and so basically what you can do is you can uh, drag over some things. Um, the first thing you could drag over, for instance, could be a image. Let's say that you want to um, put in a header. And so it could be your tagline. It could be, you know, something with your branding on it. And then we'll go back to content and drag over a video. And we can select a video. I'm in Ryan's account right now because he has core video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, pick a pick a video of his. Um, so there you go. And then um, and then underneath you could do some um, information about put some buttons in. And the buttons I like to put in, it's just, these are kind of calls to action. So you want them to take some kind of action when they um, go to your, go to um, watch your video. So let's say that this video is a welcome to your um, website video. And so it could be, the call to action could be um, search homes, sale, I can sell. Um, might be, um, you know, find your home value. And I really like to have a way to get a hold of you. So um, one of the things you could put in here would be schedule, like schedule a consult or schedule a meeting, and you could put a link to your Calendly if you have one. Um, the other thing you could do is say chat with me and put in a link to your Facebook chat. And I'll go over how to do these URLs in a second. And then at the end, you can maybe put in a nice footer that has your contact information on it. And then I always love to, at the end, put in my social icons here. And so if you're not using this, this is great. It has all the buttons for your social media. And you do have to, however, go in and actually put your social media um, links in here. Now, the nice thing about this is once we do this template, you can save it. And then if you want to do a new template with a different video, you know, you'll have, you can just clone it down and it will keep all of these 
um, links in here so you don't have to do it every single time. Um, and you can also change your icons too. Like if you want, you know, like I don't have LinkedIn, but I have Vimeo or something, you can add whatever icons that you want and you can take in, um, delete out whichever ones you don't. And then let's just say that this is my branding colors is this gold color. So you can go in and change these buttons to make them, um, you can get your hex code for that and change your color. And you can maybe make you maybe want to make your text color black instead. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that better. And again, it's a bit of a setup at the beginning, but once you have this all figured out, you can just clone things down. Um, so you might even want to put in a little text that says, um, you know, welcome to. Make it bold, and I'm going to make it in the middle, and I'm going to make it bigger. Um, and you could even, you know, this is text, but if you wanted this, this text font to match your font up here, you could again just do this in like in a JPEG and move it over and have it be exactly the same font that you wanted. We do have some different fonts here, but um, anyway, so there, there you have that. And then so if, again, search homes for sale, your URL is going to be um, your oh, URL to your website which is, oh shoot, we'll do David's, we'll do David's website. So it'll be his website right there. Your home value would be your cell page. Um, and then chat with me. So you could use your Facebook Messenger link, <clears throat> which would be, let's use David's, we'll just keep going with David here. Um, actually, I don't know that he has this connected. No. Let's go to, while you're uh, bringing that up here, um, sure. so Heather, we've got a, an interesting question from Chris here. Mm -hmm. um, he brought up the fact that do you need uh, an address for deliverability uh, about the business address at the bottom of the email? Um, can this be for deliver deliverability? I'm not sure if I, I can follow that question, but does that make sense at all? I'm not sure what you're asking. He's just Sorry, Chris, if you want, uh, you can raise your hand and I can allow you to talk more about your question there. But uh, you mentioned something that you heard it was a can spam deal. I don't know if you saw that chat, but basically you're asking, right, the business address at the bottom of the email for the email deliverability. Uh, I thought I heard that was a can spam deal. So if you got more uh, to add to that there, Chris, let us know. Uh, you can definitely unmute yourself there or we can uh, yes. just continue on, but just don't really quite understand the question there. Um. Right. But uh, for, for that being said, with the email template that you're building out here, Heather, uh, mm -hmm. are, you, are you setting this for uh, a, a multitude of people or is this just like for specific types of contacts? So, so for that. this first one, where this was like, this would be like, welcome to my website, right? So this would be for any new lead that came in. Once we, once we're done with that, um, you can then go ahead and say, you could clone it down and you can just make very subtle changes to it. Okay. Like, you know, here's how I market your home differently. And I have a list that, that I'm going to put up actually of different ideas of different 
um, videos you can make and where you want to put them. Um, so you could have, you know, it just depends on what you want to do as far as that goes, but getting this all set up with your buttons, with your colors, um, with, you know, your header and your footer and your social media and all that good stuff. It just gets it to the point where it's easily clonable and then you can make, um, you can make that happen. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, uh, hey, how's following it going? That, oh, hey there, Chris. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know. Go ahead. How is it? Hey, so uh, I get my question was uh, specifically just kind of regarding business emails as a, as a whole and the email deliverability of those along with the uh, can spam act. Uh, information. Okay. Uh, so that, that specifically, I guess, was my thing is about the business emails going out um, in a mass marketing template okay. of some kind I and see. having that you're wondering how like how many how many times it it gets like flagged for spam and it doesn't go through kind of thing correct and having okay. the business address at the bottom of the page uh i guess is something that they recommend I, i've read it somewhere i can't remember where to be honest okay uh yeah we'll we'll have to look into that maybe some good ideas to make sure that that those those emails don't get flagged as spam but uh just so you know there are a bunch of tools in KV Core that are designed to prevent your emails from being flagged as spam, such as any automation uh, being from this template. If you add it to say a smart campaign, it's very unlikely to get flagged as spam. It seems, or it, it's seen as a legitimate source from wherever it's coming from, just because of the simple fact that the KV Core imprint on the email being sent is legitimate. So. Having that known, just understand that yes, there there are some very good uh, tactics such as like having the business address at the bottom of the email uh, in a template to make it seem more legitimate so therefore it doesn't get flagged as spam that often. That is a very good practice and I'll recommend that for everyone here. Uh, but you can definitely put that in your signature which should be included in this template here. Um, That's, yeah, you're absolutely right. So, so following that, um, just want to put one other piece out there, direct emails from the system as well, and uh, automated ones. They're all going to include uh, unsubscribe links, which uh, do offer that legitimacy to your emails on top of that. So they're less likely to be flagged because of that as well. So thank you for bringing that up though, Chris. It's Perfect, a thank you to talk friend. about. All righty. Um, sorry. So Heather, continue on. Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, I was just, I couldn't remember where I, to find the, your chat um, thing, but it is actually, if you go to your page and if you go to settings and you go to messaging, this is your link there right here um, where you can put chat with me on there. So if they click that, it'll pop up in their Facebook messenger and it will have you on there and they can chat they can chat with you on facebook messenger um right there so i really love to have a facebook messenger chat and i think we had a question um in facebook in the facebook page about putting like a, t a text link in your signature on your emails and this is a good one to, to use is just to put a link to your facebook messenger that way people can chat with you anytime that they want Another, some other things you could do with these buttons is you could do a, you know, sign up to get a market report um, or something like that is another, another way you could go with that, or it could be a link to, um, you know, an actual listing or a link to a, you know, a squeeze page of listings, depending on what your um, video is about. So like I said, you just want to make this template and when you go and clone it down, you can change little things, but at least you don't have to do the entire setup all over again, if that makes sense. You could maybe change out, um, like if you were talking, if you're sending something to renters, like you wouldn't, you'd take out, find your home value and maybe you'd put um, get pre-approved or something and have it link out to your um, your lender's uh, website, pre-approval website or something like that. But, uh, but you know, you've got the colors down, you've got everything in here so you don't have to mess with too, too much when you do it. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys here is, like I said, this is coming from core video. If you don't have core video, you can take this out and you can drag over a regular video. If you do that, you just need the video URL from YouTube 
Um, so let's, you know, I'm just going to pick one off of our KB Core website. Um, um, we just copy that and then go back to here and add it right here. But as you can see, it's like this and it just has, it's a stagnant picture with the play button. So that's why I prefer the core video because it's moving, kind of grabs attention. People are like, what are they saying? I want to find out and they'll, you know, click or whatever. So um, that's what you would do. So what I would do here is my template name. The first one I make, I would just put um, video template. Maybe, you know, maybe your name. Whatever, so you can find it. Good Lord. Um, and then this one is, you know, welcome to my website. Or thanks for signing up or whatever. And you're going to add your template. And then we're going to go back to our templates and search. There's your video template. And then all you would do is you would clone it. And maybe you're going to do one that is about, um, you know, how to get pre-approved. Or are you pre-approved? Or, you know. Do I need to get pre-approved? Question mark. Like something to get them to click on it. Cause this the subject line to open it up. And then maybe you have a video. I'm gonna delete this. Um, maybe you had a different video in here about getting pre-approved, you know, and you would say, okay, I wanna use this one instead. And then um, you would obviously change this out, like apply. And maybe you're sending this, like I said, to renters. So maybe this find home value, you change it to, you know, get pre approved. And you would just switch this URL out to your lender's pre approval. And then you would say, okay, clone template. And now, oops, well, I should have, I should have done, so I should have changed it so that you can find it. So video template you know, the approval, so you can find it again and update. So now you've got, you know, one of these, you've got one that says pre-approval and you can just keep going down the line and making a bunch of different ones. And so I'm just gonna bring this over. It's just, these are just some ideas that I had. So, um, or that I've seen before. So, you know, you could do a welcome video, like we said, Another great um, video to record is saying, hey, I'm an expert in your area. Um, you can send this to people that are relocating, people that are buying. You can put it in, you can put these in your smart campaigns. So that welcome video, that's the first email that goes out to them instead of the boring, hey, thanks for signing up my website, you know, just plain text one. Same thing, like I'm an expert in your area. You could put that, it could be like the week two email or whatever. Um, how I market your home, you could talk about, you know, what you do differently and put that in your seller campaign. Um, talk about getting pre-approved. You could put that um, in your new lead campaign. Um, you could do a video about, hey, what it takes to get your home ready to sell. Maybe make an offer to um, do a free, no obligation walkthrough of your home and say, hey, I, if I were you, I, you know, if you're planning on selling in six months, maybe I'd work on your roof or I would work on painting or I'd work on X, Y, Z. I can get you some contractors to help you out, blah, 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 and give them a, um, and then maybe change one of those buttons to schedule a walkthrough time and, and have it link out to your calendar. Um, you could do a check-in video. Hey, it's been, you know, I'm just checking in to see if anything's different or changed in case you like have someone who told you they were just browsing. Um, you can put that in your just browsing campaign or whatnot. Um, doing like a year back video. Hey, you came back to the website. What caught your eye? I'd love to help you out. And you could do you could do a filter on KB Core for all your leads that came back in the last week or something and that haven't been there in a while. And you could send it, you could just mass email them that template out. 
um, you know, buy versus rent, you could do for people who are, you know, renters. You know, talk about, you know, home equity versus renting. Um, you could do like, it's been a while, like, hey, you came to my website a long time ago. I haven't seen you back. Like, what's your, what's your story? I'd love to help you. Um, and you can send that to, you know, your unengaged leads. You know, do a, a filter and find out who hasn't been to your website in over a month or a year or wherever you want to go. Um, and then the other thing you can do is for blasts, like once you have that template set up, like let's say you did a walkthrough of one of your listings and you want to blast it out to everybody, which makes your seller happy um, and it gets eyeballs on your listing. And so you could do um, a listing walkthrough, upload it um, to your list of um, videos and stick that in there. And maybe you change one of the buttons to the link to the actual listing so they can go to that listing and look for it. So these are just a few um, things that you can do as far as video ideas. And I'm sure you can come up with other ones too, but having video, and I know I hear this all the time. I feel like I don't like the way I look on video and I don't like want to do videos. And I cannot tell you how important it is to do video because that's kind of where things are going. And also it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like people don't want um, like a perfect um, scripted, you know, really um, produced video. They want to know who they're talking to. And I know it sounds a little, a little corny, but it definitely is true is that you're developing a rapport with people without even talking to them because they're seeing your face, they're hearing your voice, they're getting to know who you are and they're getting to understand your personality through these videos instead of these nameless, faceless emails that come through that don't have, you know, any, um, kind of personality to them. So I really recommend doing that. The other thing you can do with your videos that I didn't, you know, I was talking about templates, but you, if you have core video, or even if you do a YouTube video, you can always add that link on to your um, text messages too, if you want to send a text message video to people as well. So that's what I got. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. So we have had a couple of questions come in, and I feel like some of these might be more geared towards you uh, in terms of your recommendations, but whenever you include links on an email, I had a good question come in from Patricia asking, what do you feel like is a good limit to how many links you add to an email? Do you know if there's maybe anything that might flag it as spam or, or anything like that? Cause you know, in the world of emails, some stuff can be really, really, uh, finicky, you know? Yeah. I don't think that, um, I will say this about the spam and the advanced editor. You don't want to make a drip campaign that is solely advanced editor stuff because I think it's more the HTML in it than mm. the actual links that mm. might cause a spam issue. So what I always say is to do a, you know, if you do a kind of a combination of them so that they've opened like a regular email, then the, their email um, is not going to see it as spam when you do the next one, if that makes sense, because they've already gotten stuff from you. Or if they do send it to spam, at least the other email is getting through. So I would not always send it out. I wouldn't send only advanced editor emails out if that makes any sense. Um, as far as how many links I would do, I don't know that it matters spam wise so much, but I do think that when you're doing a call to action, you want to be really clear and you do not want to have like a ton of them because that's just overwhelming for people like two or three options as a call to action is really I think enough the only time that I would do a lot of links would be um, when I'm doing a newsletter in the advanced editor mm. and let me see if I can find it um, this is an example of a newsletter and in here at the very end, she has a whole mm. list of areas. So people can do area searches. These are all uh, squeeze page links that you can put into your um, newsletter, but I, those really help drive traffic back to your page. So in a newsletter, I would do something like this for sure after you have that, but in like a video where you just want them to take a specific action, I would probably leave it up to just um, two or three okay. um, links there. All right, well, there you go. Thank you very much for, for sharing that there, Heather. Mm -hmm. uh, just a, a quick side note, guys. Uh, Michelle, you did ask uh, if this is recorded. Yes, this is recorded, everyone. So if you oh, jumped no. in a little bit late, don't worry. Uh, you'll be able to review this for later. We're going to have this posted onto our doc, which I'll share in just a moment here. Uh, we'll also have this posted to our YouTube channel, which I'll share a link there as well. Uh, looks like we got some interesting questions coming in here. 
Uh, let's see here. Rich brought up a, a question. Is it possible to use a landing page as a video email or a video text? So just going to point this out real quick here, uh, Rich. You cannot technically send a video through any of our uh, built text messaging tools. Uh, you can include a link. Uh, you can include a preview image uh, for a listing if you use the MLS ID. But otherwise, you can't just like send uh, the video. But if a, a link is included, like say to YouTube, generally phones provide a uh, preview of that video mm -hmm. and stuff. So uh, going beyond that, though, you're also asking, yeah, is it possible to build a landing page, a video email, or a video text, and uh, where the calls to action can be another video, say an initial 20 to 40 second video, uh, like an elevator pitch video about the subject. So yeah, what you can maybe use that for there is creating a smart campaign or a task, uh, just maybe just the task to say, follow up with a contact using core video or using a video per se in the email. So I would say, Rich, a task would be your best option there. So maybe create uh, a new template so that it's designed to tell you, hey, you should send a video. Um, um, go ahead. You can do, I'm not sure if that's what he was asking about, but um, to get them to watch a longer video, you. I don't know about a landing page. I mean, you could do a landing page if you're trying to get someone to sign up. I, I guess I'm mm -hmm. just trying to understand because a landing page wouldn't be for somebody that's in your, that you'd be sending an email to because you'd already have their information. So I don't know if he's saying, because if you do a landing page, for instance. Uh, just a, a little quick side note, guys. Uh, Chris, thank you for sharing this. He shared a, uh, website called it's not spam.com. Uh, it looks like it is a great tool to test if you guys, your guys's emails are getting flagged as spam. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you can do a landing page and put in like a quick video and say, Hey, if you want to watch my in-depth video on how to do X, Y, Z or something, you could do that to get a sign up and have, instead of see the list now, be watch the video now and the URL be, you know, a link to like the video on YouTube or something like that. You could do that if that was, I wasn't sure if I was kind of reading that question differently maybe than Christian was. Um, yeah, that Rich, if, if you want to raise your hand, I'll, I'll definitely allow you to talk. Uh, if you have a mic to maybe further explain your, your question there. Um, okay, so other than that, is the newsletter that you showed, is there a way to format it differently? Um, that's an interesting question. You're saying it uh, seems everything seemed to be centered and looked very narrow. Uh, yeah. That's what Chris brought up. Um, I have a really wide screen. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so if you were to, um, let me see here. If you were to be on like a regular screen, let me see if I can make it. You know, it really wouldn't look that weird. I have a double screen, so that's, oh. uh, okay. do you know what I'm saying? And actually on, the way it looks the best actually is on um, mobile. Because a lot of people mm. are looking at this on mobile. And so if you have it too wide, it's not gonna be correct. And so this looks excellent on a mobile screen. And if you have a regular screen, it's gonna look something like this. My screen is just double and that's why it looks so wide. That is a very good way to put it. Uh, most of the emails, most personal emails I view are on my phone. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it does make sense. Uh, okay, so guys, keep on throwing us questions if you've got them. Uh, it can be about the topic there. Rich, I'm going to allow you to talk though. Uh, looks like you've raised your hand. If you have a mic, feel free to unmute yourself there. Yeah, so the, the idea on that I was trying to get would be I know by using a landing page and they respond, say you have their text number, but you don't have an email. This okay. would allow you to try to get both for better contact. Um, the other thing that I was trying to accomplish with it is with thanks.io, when I send out a postcard, there's a mm -hmm. QR code. Mm -hmm. And so by clicking on the QR code, going to a landing page, they can watch a quick um you know, 20 to 40 second video of whatever the topic it might be, you know, the 10 best websites for, for sale by owners. 
-hmm. and then then I could direct them down to a a more you know four six minute to six minute eight minute video about it and then if it went longer than that you could actually do another call to action to a longer webinar style video mm -hmm. um it's you know kind of in that sequence so, you know the last thing you want to do is have them click off before you get any information on right it. um yeah so that's exactly what that's what i kind of thought you were asking so yeah if you go to lead engine build landing page and make your landing page be you want video um I don't think it's video view that just that just lets you watch a video, but if you do video plus lead, you could do a quick like 20 second video about what you're saying and then if you want to watch the full video sign up here and then just change this to you know watch the video. You know. And then. They would put their information in, and when they clicked here, you would put your the URL of the. You you can't do it on core video, but you could do it with the URL. Of, just do like an unlisted um, YouTube link and put that link up there, and then it would send them there. And then in that YouTube, again, you could have even more information, you know, in the YouTube and links out to different stuff there as well. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. So uh, Patricia asked another interesting question. Uh, she just wanted to make sure if we could send a video directly in a text. Um, now, via the regular tool in KV Core, uh, it's not possible, but with Core Video, you can, correct? Yeah, so Core Video, um, if you do a add template, text, oops, text template, um, you can attach a Core Video you know, like this or whatever. And when Otherwise, it comes through, it usually has like a preview of the GIF on it, yeah. um, but they still have to click it to play it. Now, otherwise there, Patricia, uh, you would only uh, be able to add a link. Uh, to, yeah, you can also add a YouTube link on there. And a lot, I mean, most, um, I know on my phone, it will preview yeah. the link and put like a little play button on there. Are you able to create a newsletter template email in KV Core? Uh, yes, most definitely. And in fact, uh, Casey, uh, we do actually have a newsletter template already there for you. It just doesn't have any wording. It's just spaced out. Uh, if you want to just show them real quick how they can search for that, Heather. Yeah, so if you Whatever. go to um, email and you go, I think you just type in type news out newsletter. Ah, newsletter. Um, and there it right is. Right here. You'll you just, just hit clone. clone it. Mm -hmm. And then you can um, you know, you can do this stuff, you know, put yeah. put things in. However, I will say that if you don't, I mean, this is nice if you don't know kind of what you're doing, but I mean, if you want to make your own, all we all I did was the same thing where I dragged over the video, I dragged over the picture and you know I drag things over so it's not terribly hard to just depending on what your um what your content is you don't necessarily have to do that do this one mm -hmm. um or you could do this one and just delete like maybe you have you do this part but you don't have enough content for all this like you could just delete this yeah. area and be like yeah I don't want I don't want that because I just don't have enough content for this part or whatever that's good yeah uh, Patricia asked, where are the templates uh, that we created stored? The same place. Uh, so right where Heather's at, guys, just go over to the template section and you'll see them. Now, a, a little quick uh, way to see the ones that you've actually created, you'll see the clone option for the ones that are already there for you. But the ones that you can edit or delete, those are ones that you've created. Mm -hmm. And one other thing you might want to think about doing is doing like your initials or you know something at the very beginning of it of when you name it so that you could pull up you if you search your initials then it will just give you the list of everything you've done mm -hmm. when you make them um i always I, instead of looking through this whole list for for stuff because a lot of times like what did i name that but if you just put your initials and then whatever you're going to name it at least you've narrowed it down to like all the things that you've made very good very good uh michelle asks can i uh, send out bulk emails and then get rid of MailChimp. Yes, Michelle, there are multiple different ways you can send out bulk emails in KV Core. So yeah, 
go ahead and get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. So like um, if you made, um, like I was saying before, if you made a template for people that were unengaged or something and you did a filter and you said, okay, I want these people, you could mass email them that way. Or you can go to your smart CRM marketing and you can do a mass email this way. And just, you can save it from a filter, a hashtag, you know, whatever you want. And then you just choose your template here. Um, and schedule it out. So either way. So yes, get rid of MailChimp so, immediately. All right. <laughs> yeah, go for that. Don't so pay for that. <laughs> you have Rich, this. Rich kind of went into a little bit more of an in-depth question here. Uh, can the newsletter have dynamic links to personalize to an area, uh, the market conditions, new home to new to market, uh, and you could maybe then group the recipients by zip code, making the newsletter more relevant to them? Now, you can probably take this a different route, Heather, but the what I'm thinking and what you maybe want to use here, Rich, is setting up uh, some scheduled mass emails and sending out those emails with those specific newsletters and the specific links, because you can build those and have them go out via hashtags, hashtag a group of contacts so that if you're interested in such and such zip code, such and such city, such and such area, you attach the hashtag with say that zip code and they receive a newsletter for that zip code. So that is something that you can do. You're just going to have to be a little creative with it. But Heather, do you do you maybe think there might be a better way to do that? Uh, no, that's exactly what I would do. For okay. yeah, so you would want to. You'd have to make two. You know, you'd have to make three different newsletters with different, mm -hmm. you know, squeeze pages that are for the different areas or whatever. But then, you know, when you went to do your mass scheduling, you would schedule by hashtag. Yeah. Yeah, use those hashtags there, Rich. It's going to make it that much easier. Um, I, I do that all the time with like my test leads. I just associate the city name and what they were searching for, right? Like if they're looking in such and such city, attach such and such city name as a hashtag. Uh, uh, Chris, um, oh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a question here, Chris, but you just mentioned uh, numbers or numbers uh, work too. Um, good question. We're going to have to come back to that. Uh, Michelle, it looks like you asked another. Uh, if I have ClickFunnels website, does KV Core integrate with ClickFunnels? Because that's really the reason why I have MailChimp. Um, I'm not too sure. You need I need a better explanation on what, what ClickFunnel. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably take a stand here and say that's not going to be the case. I'm, I'm not sure that ClickFunnels will integrate with KV Core. Well, at least. that depends on where you're. Ah. Go ahead. It depends on where you're sending them. You know, like every, any, I mean, I would have to understand where she's getting this. If you want to, Michelle, if you, I guess I need to create a similar landing page. Yeah. So you have, you have a ClickFunnel that captures people's info mm. and you want, and you're sending it into MailChimp and you're saying you want to send it into KV Core. KV Core. Um, um, if you have, yeah, for sure. Um, if it's sent, does it send, does the landing page that you have send you an email that gives you the leads information? And if so, I would use your Dropbox email. It should work, right? Um, So right here under lead Dropbox, this is your email. So instead of sending an email to your regular email, have them send it to that email and it should drop into KB Core. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I was just trying to see if it was uh, maybe a lead Dropbox option since we have a, a list, but it doesn't look like it's a part of the known sources. Uh, do you know if we can actually create a link between a landing page like that? Do you, do you know, Heather? I don't. I don't know if it's possible. I mean, I it's it sends them to my Excel spreadsheet, then my email, and zaps it in. Oh well, then. Oh yeah. 
that you could do with a Z with a zap. So instead, yeah. yeah, just use a zap it from your um, Excel spreadsheet into KB Core with a with Zapier. Yeah, if you if you've got a Zapier connection, it'll mm -hmm. it'll work Super just easy. as well with that. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some other questions here. Uh, Okay, sorry there, Chris. Now I get it. Hashtags or numbers uh, work too for organizing the email templates. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, all righty. Is there an email Dropbox template? Uh, how the emails need to be formatted? Uh, yes, actually. Let me go ahead and see if I can find that for you. There is actually a article that I can share with this. I will go over specifically how you can get this set up by email parsing. Let me go ahead and get this out to you guys. There you are, Chris. Go ahead and dive into that when you get a chance. So guys, what I just shared there is gonna show you how you can set up an email forwarding option. So basically you email your KV Core account uh, a leads information and we can just upload it with all that info into your KV Core system and they'll be in your CRM. Let's go back um. here. <laughs> no worries, Chris, we appreciate it, my man. Uh, any other questions, guys? Yeah, there's a question in the Q&A about... Oh, the Q&A? Go for it. I created a carousel of pictures in my Facebook ad, but want to get my logo on each picture. How do I do that? I would um, take the picture and go to Canva. And... Um, Just upload let's say it. That, let's say that this is your picture. You know, put your picture and upload up. Obviously, you'd have to upload. You'd upload your your picture to Canva, and then you would take your um, you would take your logo and stick it on there, right? Oopsies. Or however you wanted to do it. And then you would download your picture and use that and use that downloaded picture instead um, in your carousel ad. Patricia's mentioning something else there to go along with it. If this, if you have Camtasia, you could do all the pictures at once instead of individually. Yeah, um, you could just you I, could just put them in here, you know, one more, one more, keep adding mm -hmm. them. So actually, now that I take that back. Instead of doing that, once you have your logo on there, you could copy that, take the picture out, just put a new picture in, and it's going to leave. Um, it's going to leave your. There you go. In there. Cool. Uh, okay. Okay, Craig. Uh, interesting question. How do we find the add website button in KV Core and how do we get the correct admin privileges? So uh, first off, if you don't have admin privileges, you need to speak with somebody at your brokerage about that. If you don't know exactly who is an admin, you can reach out to our support team and they can point you in the right direction. Uh, they will be able to make you an admin. It takes one to make one, basically. Uh, and there are three different levels of <coughs> admin privileges. You have the company admin. They have the be all, say all, end all with the main functions as an admin. The office admins are there, but they can only control office level functions. And then you have team admins if your brokerage has a core team add-on. They only have direct uh, control over the team and its functions. Uh, but going back to the main uh, part there, and making sure that you do get the correct admin privileges. Can you just show real quick there, Heather, uh, where they can find it in the profile and how they can make somebody an admin? And then also... I don't understand the question, add website button. So they're looking to create a website for one of the agents or one of the users there. Oh. So uh, there, there are two options. Uh, you, I'm, not, in I'm right. not in a... Um... 
I'm You're using Ryan's. The... Yeah, he's not oh. a. Um, yeah, I'd have to go to a admin. different. Um... No worries, no worries. Uh, just pointing you in the right direction there, though, Craig. You would just go over and click on your name in the upper right corner. And from the drop down, you'll see that websites tab. You'll click yeah, into that. Yeah, I mean, sorry. Yeah, it's here. It's just yeah. that you can't. Oh, look, it shows add website oh, there for you. Oh, I guess it did. I take it back. So there should be that green add website function. Yeah. All right. Um, you do have that now. Is it not coming through the, the websites? Talking to me? Uh, no, Craig, Craig, oh. sorry. Oh, yeah, I do not have that. Yeah, then you're not a... You don't have the correct. So oh, you have okay. websites, but you don't have an add website button. Yeah, because he's not an admin. Yeah. So uh, to, to make sure that you are an admin, though, I can literally point you in the direction is, again, of course, with somebody that is an admin in this platform. But if you go uh, to the agents tab. Yeah, no worries, my man. Uh, if you go to the agents tab, uh, there will be the agent that you'll click on. And from there, there is an option under more actions to make them an admin. Okay. Right there? No. Oh, more actions. Okay. Yeah, there would be make them an admin, but he's not. We're not. Ryan's not an admin on here. Okay. Um, a new website for yourself or another agent for myself. Okay. So that's a, kind of an interesting, uh, I would say, look at this. Now, the thing is, is that each agent has their own dedicated agent website. Uh, for anything additional, though, I think the only way to get that added in would be from the admin level or if you're not allowed to be an admin, you would need to purchase the market specific websites from the marketplace there. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted just to rename, if you wanted, so hit, so Ryan's is, you know, ryanhartman.foreverglorialestate.com. If you wanted a vanity domain here, um, you could go to your marketplace. and go to vanity domain add-on. And basically, um, I think it's like 15, oh no, 11 bucks a month basically. And you can have, you'd have to buy your, buy your domain from somewhere like GoDaddy or whatever. But once you have it, then um, you can add it to your KV core and switch it so that yours will say, you know, luxuryrealestate.com instead of this whole thing. And it will filter down onto all of your pages will be that. The other thing you can do for free is you can just do a forwarding domain in like GoDaddy or something, but it's going to flip once it gets here. So if you want to stay this way and be that way through the whole thing, then you will want to do the vanity domain add-on. Um, just to add on to that, Patricia, you asked, can you show how these marketplace websites work? Uh, I'll, I'll let you do that, Heather, if you can, if you know a, a marketplace specific website, or I'm sorry, a market specific website. But just so you understand, Patricia, it's virtually the same as your standard yeah. agent website, except for the area. It's focused on a set location. It could be all of the MLS. It could be just partial, uh, just a, a couple of cities or a location. Heck, it could even just be a zip code or a neighborhood if you want it. Oh, you mean to do another, to do an, an extra uh, do, do, templated website? If you have one, I, I can't think of one right now. Just to um, maybe kind of show it off. website right here. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, it's just a, a dedicated kind of secondary website that goes on to yours. Now, uh, Ron, you asked a very interesting question here. You asked, how uh, has IRE created a contactless QR code way to collect information from open house attendees. Now, uh, you can create QR codes with the KV Core website manager tool, but unfortunately, that uh, open house app, Ron, it doesn't have the ability yet. I will say, though, that is an 
excellent idea and you should definitely submit it for a feature request because if that hasn't been thought up already it needs to be so thank you for sharing that uh, mm -hmm. if you can just use that chat tool to, to submit that feature request yeah the other option there is um ryan on wednesday of last week so i know probably no one was there because it's the day before thanksgiving mm -hmm. but he showed how to make a um I don't know if we have that Christian, um, he showed how to make a Google form for your open houses instead of using the, the tool. Mm. And then if you want to, what you could do is there's tons of free um, QR code generators online and you could have that QR code um, go to the Google form and have them fill the Google form out that way. I mean, when you're doing a free QR code, it doesn't capture their phone number when you when they scan the code like it does when you're using something in uh, KB Core. Um, but it, you can use that code so they could just scan it. They'll get the form. They can fill the form out, you know, submit the form when they come in. And then, you know, you can just zap everybody over into KB Core from that um, in Zapier, which is both of those are a free thing. So you don't need the you don't need the paid Zapier to do it. But um, yes. But yeah, Christian, if we have that video, we can maybe put it in the chat. It was on it was on Wednesday last week. Um, that I don't think was recorded. What? No. Yeah, I, do, I, I did not see a recording for Wednesday. I thought you guys might have skipped. No, we didn't. Oh, I'm mm. so sorry. Um, I'll, I'll look to see if maybe Ryan downloaded maybe Ryan it to his has computer. It. Maybe Ryan has yeah. it. I feel but, like he recorded it. Like, were you not... You weren't on there. I was. I was out Wednesday. I, I took it off for Thanksgiving. So Brett just had. Oh no, that's here. It's right here. Yeah, Brett, you're the best. Thank you. <laughs> for last Wednesday. For last Wednesday. Oh. Yeah. Right here. So he he streamed it live to YouTube is what he did. Mm, okay, that's why. Yeah. That's Thanks, Brett. That makes sense. Because <laughs> I did not see a recording on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, no, he just streamed it to YouTube. All right. I remember that now. Um, yeah, but yeah. So if you want to watch that video on how to do it, and then just do like make a make a QR code for that, you can do that. And the nice thing about the forms is that. You know, like we our our open house tool is nice, but the forms allow you to ask like extra questions and different things if you want to. So, um, okay. So following that, let's see if we had any more questions. Oh, uh, awesome, Chris! It seems like you are sharing some awesome stuff too. Flow code. It looks like flowcode.com is a place that you guys can generate QR codes. Yeah, that's nice. very cool. Yeah, there's tons that. of free, free ones that do that, which is nice. Let's see here. All right, guys, we have uh, some time for a couple more questions. Uh, Chris, if you'd like to answer Patricia, I definitely can have you unmute yourself if you'd like. You still, you still have that access. Um, do you want to maybe share why flow code? would be a good option sure why not um i i just like flow codes because of the design i mean there's a ton of qr code things you can use out there canva's got a free one okay. you can do you know you can do qr codes inside of kv core depending uh -huh. on your different pages um i just like the fact that i can take those links and make them pretty and put my logo in there kind of oh. stuff <laughs> there you go that's all all right yeah. cool to know um, and then if I you want some really custom stuff, you can actually go to Fiverr and, or have a graphic artist or something like that put something together for you that's really, really interesting. Awesome. Um, and I just want to say that in our, um, I think it's, no, it's in an R embeds, right? Website embeds. Mm -hmm. So you can't, we have, do have a QR code um, that is just for your website. Um, and then if you, you can do one for, uh, you can either do one for your website or you can do one for a listing. Um, the only 
thing about this is that obviously you has to be either your website or your listing. But if you're doing that, I would definitely use this one as opposed to a different one, because if someone does scan this, it will capture their cell phone number and put their cell phone number in KV Core for you. Um, and if you have Core Social as an add on, which um, I don't have in here, you can actually do what um, you can create, create it to go of... to anywhere and it's going to capture the, the um, now, I know numbers, my mic so. is on and I'm interrupting again. Did I just hear that right? So yeah. all, they, all they've got to do is scan our website QR code and it captures the information automatically? It just captures their phone number. Mm -hmm. Thank you much for that. Didn't yeah. know that. And I've been using KV Core for years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it only, again, like it only works with either a listing or your website once. If you wanted to send it, do a QR code and send it to that form, it wouldn't work unless you have Core Social in which you can make our QR codes do anything you want. Uh, yeah, so Core Social, guys, is a part of the Core Listing Machine program. Uh, it is technically a separate program from KV Core. Uh, let me see if I can just bring it up here. Uh, I'll see if I can. Isn't it, is it not in the account. marketplace? Yeah, uh, so you can get it in the marketplace. Yep. Um, it's, a, it's a tool to automate your social media that's that's the biggest portion from it but it does come with a qr code builder similar to uh, what chris shared there earlier um blanking on the name again flow code that was mm -hmm. it uh, yeah. similar to what flow code does you put in a link it generates a qr code uh, however the thing about our qr codes is they capture information so mm -hmm. uh, they do try and capture lead uh, how much is Core Social? I'm not too aware. It depends on the brokerage. Uh, oh, it looks like it's showing there, $49.99 a month. I thought recently they allowed it so that you could just get it without your brokerage. I could I be wrong. I think that's what it that. is. That's what this yeah. is. Yeah, Core Social allows you to get it without the brokerage. Core yeah. Listing Machine does require the brokerage. There. Right, yeah. But it's it's kind of cool because what it does is like you you can, um, it auto posts stuff for you. On yeah, your, I'll, I'll on share your, my um, Twitter account. It It's connected to my Twitter and you guys can see all of the posts that I make literally on a daily basis. Uh, feel free to view that. Oh, that's just Twitter homepage. I need to go to my profile. What's your, what's your uh, handle? Uh, it's Christian IRE too, I think. I just put, put the link in there. There I am. Yeah. So this all this stuff is content you. that we post that yep. gets posted from core social for you. And you, you get to, to choose Twitter all of this too. Or, yeah. Twitter or Facebook. Um, Insta. So it's pretty fun. Uh, I like it. And uh, I also train on it too, guys. So if you're ever interested in just maybe seeing it in action, uh, every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, I go through how you can set it up because Core Social and Core Listing Machine, those tools, they're completely set it and forget it. Once you've done, once you've done it, you're good. You don't need to manage anything else. Was um, there a sale on Core Social? Patricia, I have no honest idea. I, I really uh, hang don't. on. There was a sale on, no. There's a sale on Property, Bo property Boost, but not on Core Social. All right. Yeah, our Cyber Week promos, Nosy Neighbor Concierge and Promo Boost, which ends today if anybody wants to take advantage of this. Uh, so Core Social, Patricia, as of right now, it only works with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, and Blogger. Uh, if you were thinking it might work with Instagram, it doesn't. It is something that they are actively working on, uh, including in the future, though. Yeah, Instagram's a toughie, though, because with Instagram... A lot of this stuff you don't really want to put on Instagram. You know, Instagram's more for pictures and not mm -hmm. links out. Yeah. With that said, though, um, I think we'll have to wrap it up for today. Yeah. Heather, I do want to say very much thank you uh, for being Absolutely. here today. 
awesome of you to share all this information. Chris, special shout out to you, my man. Thank you for, for sharing some of the info you brought us. And everyone else, guys, thank you again. This is awesome. Uh, having you guys ask all these questions, getting some information, and uh, hopefully uh, you get to uh, sell a house because of the info that you guys got here today. So uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end today's meeting. Everyone, you guys have a great day, and uh, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Thanks, guys.